In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to make dyes from individual teeth. We have previously learned from a different tutorial how to make dyes from preps. Individual teeth are a little bit different because the contacts are very undercut in some cases. So this is not included in the module, in the model designer. However, there's a few steps involved. To start off with, left click and select the model. Then shift right click to place the cursor where you want to start drawing the line. Click on draw die. And now E to extrude and left to place the vertex. You'll notice two things. One, the line has been offset and two, it's very angular. To change this, we're going to go to the corner, the right hand corner until the cross appears. Click on the mouse and drag the mouse across to open a new window. Click on the drop down menu and click on properties. Then navigate to the spanner. This is the modifier toolbox. There's a modifier there already, the shrink wrap modifier. We're going to add a subdivision surface modifier. Click on the icon on the right hand side so that we can make it visible in edit mode. Now, drag the window closed a bit so we've got more space. You will notice now that it's a curve and not a, an angular line. E to extrude, left click to place. The contact here is undercut. This is why we need to then make close the contacts once we have outlined the tooth. When you get to the other side, shift, left click to add it to the selection and then press F and then tab to get out of edit mode making sure that the line does not touch anywhere. If it does, it will be most probably over the contact where it's most convex. Then tab edit mode and then you may have to select the vertice and press Q. Q will move it 0.2mm away from the surface and then tab again. Now we need to convert this into a mesh. This is easy done by going to the objects and then click convert to mesh. The next step tab edit mode to highlight the vertices and then click on one of the vertices on one side and one on the other side and press F. We are basically recreating the contact. Now we're going to press A to select all of them and click on fill holes. I have set it to 20. If it's set to less it may not fill it. So this is a trial and error thing. Once you've got a face there you've recreated the contact area. This is very important because if the vertices come out like this, then it will not extrude properly and it will not cut a clean mesh and your model may be hollow. Once you've done that, tab to exit and then place your, your model so that it extrudes in a nice direction. You don't want to extrude it out of the side of the model, so place it where you want the die to extrude. Next you need to click make die. Then select the spacer required. For our purpose 0.2 millimeter works pretty well but this depends on your printer and your resin. Next click cut die. This will have cut your die. To verify that everything is correct, you can select it and click H hide to make sure that you have 
sides, Alt H to unhide. And of course, you can then drag it out and see whether it's been cut nicely. Take note that you have recreated a contact area. If you don't do this, then you will most probably have intersecting edges when it extrudes and then the boleen cut will not cut properly. This concludes the video on making dies from teeth. Thank you for watching.